Good morning, this is Tuesday, March 23rd. I am back from vacation and glad to be back. I will be starting this week off with getting a knife ready for stock. Um, so it's been glued. I'm just going to shape it and hand sand it. Um, and in between doing that, I had been working on this one on Saturday. This is a little uh, Deba. And I, you can see the, the, the gap there that I need to... I need to square that up a little bit more so it sits nicely. Uh, oh, it looks much better that way, though. Uh, maybe it'll go that way. Um, and we'll get that all squared up and get it glued up, and that's it. Uh, I do have some computer work to do. Obviously, being gone for a week means that I have stuff to catch up on. So I've done some of it, and I've got some other emails to send the, the accountants. It's getting to tax time, so we have to wrap that up. But Cal's going to give us a breakdown of stuff he's working on. Hey, good morning, everybody. So my slicer, I've been buffing the heck out of it all last week. Uh, I wish I could show you, but um, I've got some handle material that I prepped Saturday, this beautiful dyed burl. Um, so I picked this piece out of all the other ones that I prepped, and I'm going to get that on the, my knife today. So. Awesome. And then Daniel has a little project here. He's going to come here and talk about what he's working on. Daniel! Thank you. That's a cool little hunter you yes, got going. What? Uh, so basically, I'll be getting these guys, hopefully, to drilling and um, grind lines. I've also got an Akiri I'll be working on. I'm just doing some small inventory stuff right now while taking care of some emails. Awesome. And then Nico's got some new stuff to show us. We got a couple Benchmade boxes that came in. So we're gonna see what Nico has. Ooh. Yeah, so we got the new Hidden Canyon Hunter Skinner. 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 Okay. Get it out of their uh, their very form fitted sheath. Ultron. What do they call it? My goodness. Here, here. So this has got rich light as opposed to the diamond wood that was on their previous Hidden Canyon series. That's um, nice. And I love the jimping. They do this on a lot of their hunt series knives. They have the jimping here and up here. And you can see it, the blade is more narrow here than here, so it gives you a bigger belly, but without going concave, which I like as well. I really like the shape of that knife. Yeah, that's just a nice bushcraft knife. And this is the Valet, the 485. So we've had this one in the past. Yeah. This one's not new, but... It's got M390 for the blade and then linen g10 scales that's a nice looking knife oh and the tried and true yep bk cla love the cla all black automatic. and the mini infidel the mini infidel love it all day long right there well all right cool well how was the week last week without me crazy yeah it was crazy <laughs> but we survived awesome we made it and new cutting boards yep new tin roof uh spring orchards spring orchard and this is the square prep <laughs> nice all right that's it from us today have a great day good morning it's wednesday march 24th and yesterday i got this handle prepped and glued up so I got a little cleanup work to do, um, some more of the epoxy spooge down a little bit, that won't be a problem. And then shaping, and I will get this one glued up, uh, maybe not first thing, but second thing. Um, and talking for Cal a little bit, he's a little late today, uh, he got this one glued up, so we did one little two knife glue up yesterday. So I believe he's gonna get that one at least partially to shape today, and he's got some more grind lines that he's gonna be working on. And so Daniel and Nico have some cool stuff to talk about. We'll come right on over here. What do we got? Uh, just checking out some cool case knives in with uh, Nico, um, but I'll have him talk about that soon. I basically have these five hunters. I've got all the corners knocked off. I will be grinding the rest of the bevels in hopefully getting them stamped. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of customization, getting the customer's uh, name stamped into the blade. So that'll take a little bit of planning. Uh, straightened and ready for heat treat, so if I can get that done today, I'll be right on track, guys. Well, and what are all these pretties? Yeah, so we just got a bunch of our case knives in yesterday. Um, mostly a bunch of three-bladed trappers. Tried to get a bunch of variety with the handle materials. 
Um, so these are all the same style with a different handle material. Yes. Okay, except for a couple for different ones. Maybe one. one or two. Yeah, and then this red guy over here, he's got a pocket clip. Yeah, look at that. Case up in their game with a pocket clip. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, that's it from us for today. We'll see everybody tomorrow. All right, everybody, today is Thursday the 25th. No one knows I'm filming, so I'm just doing it anyways. Basically, we've got this nice guy right here we're going to be sharpening. Um, as you can tell, the guy's got their cut gloves on. They've also got the acetone because this stuff, it reeks. Basically, this is meant to cut uh, vinegar pickled pork skins. So the smell's kind of, uh, but we're going to get these sharpened and back on out. For me, I will be working on these two guys today. I've got a bunch of my knives ready for heat treat, so I'll be working on this refurb to get it done and complete it. Uh, as you can see, I've also got the Nakiri out. That way I can try and get a handle on this bad boy. Um, Cal, what you got going on? I know this is abrupt. Dude, I've got... So uh, I finished grinding up Ooh, my handle, ready for good. hand sand. Beautiful stuff. I like that. Got my chef's knife glued up so between this and the pork machine i'll be pretty busy today. right on russell you got anything to add or are you just um, trying to take this in right now well no so we have an axe to profile basically before lunchtime because uh one of my league mates has a has a rush job for his axe so we'll get that done before lunch uh, sharpening these, doing a heat treat for Daniel, and I finished a knife yesterday. Uh, Nico will show it to you. It'll be on the site later today. Um, so I hope to get another one finished up uh, right there. Uh, but then we also have some more admin stuff to do today. So we shall see how much of that one I finish. So let's go look with Nico and that new knife. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right, Nico, what's this beauty we're looking at here? Yeah, we got a mustard patina on a high carbon knife. Ooh. With some blue and purple spalted pecan with some natural spalted pecan barrel. It's pretty sweet. Right on. What else you got going on today, or is that just all you got going on right now? Uh, I also have some fucking case knives. New fucking case knives. Pretty so a couple new bucks right here. Yeah. These came in yesterday. Yeah. So it's basically all the classic special. Oh, uh, so these are the classics that are now brought up with the micarta handles, guys. These are uh, pretty new. So if you haven't taken a look at them, I, I take them all out and look, but this isn't a product video. This is just what we're doing today. And here's some of the case knives. Beautiful flippers, guys. Well, trappers, two-handed knives, etc. All right, so that way we don't uh, take it too long. That's what we got going on today, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Bye. Good morning, it is Friday, March 26th, and what I got done yesterday is I got handles on four of our vintage knives in our vintage knife set series. Um, so we have two new ones. This is the El Gaucho um, that we decided to put in the set, and this is our new uh, boning knife that we've seen a couple of and really like. Um, so that's in there now, and then we have the Belgian cleaver and the American slicer as we've had before. So good to get those glued up yesterday. And I also got another dark matter knife done that Nico's lovingly showing us. Yeah, um, it's got an ironwood ferrule with the micarta handle. This one's got a squared off end. It's really it, cool, but it's like rounded. Rounded squares. And then what, what's all this stuff over here? Oh, these are all the buck knives that we got yesterday. All the buck knives. So, Daniel will be doing a video about this one, but this is a very unique. It's locked. You have to go like that. And then this is also the locking mechanism. Very unique, very interesting. Jury's kind of out on it. Who likes it, who doesn't like it. But it's definitely unique, definitely novelty, and fully functional. And then they came up with this special series with uh, OD uh, micarta. So all the fixed blades have some beautiful micarta on them. Because uh, we have the ones that have the black handles and the wood handles. Now we have the micarta ones too, so good to see. Uh, anything else? Um, nope, just the case knives oh. are finally all up in stock. All up and beautiful. Look at all the colors, different styles, and we'll be getting more of those in as well. And I know Cal and Daniel have some stuff to talk about, so we'll come back over here. Okay, what do we got, boys? Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I got 
my I call this the artifact Nick named by Nico too uh, I got it hand sanded yesterday pretty cool acid etch that I'm proud of um, I'm gonna put a edge on this guy first thing this morning and then finish hand sanding my slicer with the, the beautiful burl that we had upstairs and that'll be the first half of my day what's up guys are you done I'm done. Oh, that was yeah. real, like, you know, sign off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's Signing up, guys? Up. Yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, basically, we've got this Nikiri to a good spot. I've got a light stone wash on there. I don't know if you could really see it. Um, I'll be getting the handle smacked onto this bad boy today. I've also got this bayonet that uh, Cal and I have been double teaming. Got it nice and polished up after he sandblasted for me. I've got this scabbard that's left, we are going to be Cerakoting. Uh, Cal's gonna do me a solid, set up the booth real fast because we have a temporary booth. Um, and I'll be Cerakoting this. And then I've also got, if Russell didn't mention, I have 500s in the oven right now tempering. That is for some customs also due next week. So I should be getting all those rolled up into, into more progress showing you by tomorrow. Um, think that's it for us guys. We will see you then, bye. See you. Good morning, it is Saturday, March 27th. What I will be working on today is some custom knives. So these are four steak knives. Yes, they look like Hanasukis, but these are going to be steak knives for Rhett, an excellent customer of ours, and uh, a an gaucho knife that is going to be a kitchen knife for uh, a, a lady that came in over Christmas time, and then two Hanasukis for stock. So because they're so similar, I'm just going to kind of work on all of them together, and that will be my day. We'll see what else I get done, and Cal has some very cool news. Hey, happy Friday. Well, Saturday. Your Friday. Our Friday. Our Friday, yeah. Your Saturday. Uh, I got a couple knives done for stock yesterday. This chef's knife, I got an acid pattern on it and a leaf matched handle and I finished my slicer finally went full shiny on it with the awesome uh, spalted. dyed spalted pecan yeah look at it that turned out pretty piece. cool I'm happy with these awesome good job Cal and then Nico has some show and tell stuff to so the things I finished yesterday yeah. here we go we have the vintage line so this is the Gaucho, which is a new addition to the vintage line. It's going to be like a camp knife, kind of small camp stuff. Camp, petty, yeah. And then we got the Belgian cleaver, which is a classic. And a new bony knife. This is a French design or Japanese? Uh, it's French. I've, we've seen both French and Japanese that are very similar. We're just going to call it a vintage bony knife because it's a little ambiguous. And then the very popular slicer. With Tasmanian sassafras for the handles. Yeah, and we talked about these guys yesterday. Oh, this yeah. is pretty. Oh, this is for the customer that was just in. He's looking at blues and greens. They're redoing a house and they want to match the the green door. So as Nico and I were talking about yesterday, the showroom is filling up beautifully. We have more handcrafted knives in stock than ever before. Super stoked and. We have more coming, so good things are coming. Have a great day and a good weekend.